every track in this song is going to this one bus. That's a lot of energy. If I go to, say, the last chorus, hold on to your ears. I haven't started mixing, I'm already clipping. Not a good look, considering you know the levels are going to rise. For those of you who mix 100% in the box and need a little help with gain staging, in Pro Tools, you can set up a master fader, stereo, because we got used to stereo, stereo is nice, and call it, say, some master. Assign it to the bus this way, call some. So what this master object fader thing does? when it's assigned to your sum bus, is it allows you to offset the overall level of the sum bus, which remember is just a cable, before it hits the actual object that's gonna have processing on it. So you can adjust the amount of energy you send to that object, which means you can prevent it from clipping. And because there is a lot of somewhat hidden headroom in Pro Tools because, well, you know, every fader in itself is, you can only give it 12 dBs of gain and maybe some more gain with plugins, but overall, you're being kept in a certain area, but the addition of all those levels, all the drums and all the vocals and everything, that's a lot more than 12 dBs of extra gain once you put them all together. So for you to be able to function properly, you would have to bring all those faders down, otherwise you're going to clip. Or you can keep the faders there, be reasonable, and use one sum master to actually tailor the response of the entire mixer to the final receiver object. It's legal. For example, if I play the track now, as opposed to, say no more. Good trick.